Hey YouTube, so this is part three to my part two video that I just did of my tutorial. In part three, we're going to actually do a design. Yay! Okay, so I wanted to, the first time I do a design for my channel, I wanted to do a very, very simple design for my viewers. Um, a lot of the videos that I watched were of pretty extensive designs using like five, ten nail polishes, which you can. You can use up ten. But your first time, I would not suggest doing that because it'll get really globby, clumpy. I'm not going to go into it. Um, so, for our first design, we're going to use China Glaze Escaping Reality. Really nice neon pink. And we're going to use China Glaze Hanging in the Balance. Really pretty blue. You don't have to use China Glaze like I said in my first video, it's just a preference of mine. You can use the sinful colors or just colors that you like that work really well with this. Um, so here we go. Here's my nail that I've prepped already with my sinful colors, Snow Me White, taped ready to go onto my orange stick. Okay. So. If you paid attention in part two, then this shouldn't be an issue for you, and I'm sure you've been practicing a lot before you did part three. Make sure that you have your bobby pin handy and nearby, because once we start dropping the colors and we're done, we have to draw the design. You want to try and draw your design as soon as you're done with your colors, because it starts to dry pretty quick. And you want to make sure that you have a Q-tip handy for this. So... Here we go. Take it. Taking a sweet time. Do one drop. Get the glue. And this is the fun part when it actually starts to spread, and you're like, yay, I'm doing it just like the videos. And sometimes you'll get that where it doesn't spread very well. Give it a second. It will. It'll catch on. Another one. If it sounds like I'm grumpy, I'm not grumpy. I'm just tired. This is how I normally talk. I'm not very excitable. I try to be fun with this. If it's still not spreading that well, take the cup, let it go. Take the cup, let it go. Okay? Don't 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 be too rough with it. Because if you're too rough with it, it's it's gonna screw up the whole water marble. So I'm just gonna do a couple more of these. This design was inspired by that movie Horton Hears a Who. Whenever I see this design I, I think of that movie. Now that I've got that, I'm actually going to do a petal design, which is really easy. So, from the middle, up, swipe, down. Always clean this. Don't forget to clean that. I'm going to come from the outside in. And you'll start to see petals. And again, you don't have to be perfect with this. If you're OCD, then this probably isn't for you. Just, you know, petals. And then you want to bring them in at a curve so that you start to get that petal shape. And three is fine. You don't have to get carried away with it. For your first time. So I have my prepped nail. This is the also another important part. When you place your nail into the design, you want to keep your nail as flat on the surface as you can. And once you go for it, go for it. Don't stop in the middle of it or don't put one end in and say, oh no, I don't want to do that because you just messed up the whole design and messed up your nail. Now you can be mad and start throwing things. So line your nail up. And dip, and then, oh crap, I need someone to hold the phone. 
And then the other important part is you want to clean the surface. Q-tip, hold the nail down in there. Don't hold your nail too close to the surface when you're doing this, otherwise you're going to pull your design. Clean up the whole surface. <clears throat> When you take your nail out to prevent or to try and help prevent the water beating, you want to pull it out at a 45 to 60 degree angle if you really want to get technical with this. Pull it out slowly. And then when you pull it out, you can take a look at your design. Thank you, honey. And it looks fabulous. Pretty little design. Again, this design was inspired by Horton Here's a Who. I don't know why every time I see it, I just think of that. And you can add a little bit of glitter to the top of it while it's still wet. Make sure that you put the top coat on to prevent the chipping and the peeling. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you like the design. If you have any questions, comments, anything I missed, you can leave it in my comment bar and I'll either get back to you personally or through Skype. Thanks for watching.